，新春前夕，拉贡体三国大使做客风云对话。新年快乐！新年快乐！ The world peace. We need to understand that we are a single big family. 身体健康，呃，万事如意。拉美国家拥抱“一带一路”，互联互通，打造中拉命运共同体。The last year was like a record year of right. visits from Latin America and the Caribbean countries to the Chinese capital. The exchanges were absolutely fruitful. China is one of the region's largest development partners, and it's important that we continue to have that sort of constructive dialogue with China. We are looking forward very much to the possibility of having a China CELAC meeting in Honduras that is going to bring us together. 跨越太平洋的牵手。专访乌拉圭、洪都拉斯、特立尼达和多巴哥三国驻华大使。今年是中拉合作的大年，也是中拉论坛创立十周年。二零一四年，中国、拉美和加勒比国家领导人会晤在巴西举行，习近平主席同与会各国领导人一致决定建立。平等互利、共同发展的中拉全面合作伙伴关系，共同宣布成立中国拉共体论坛。习近平主席首次提出构建中拉命运共同体的倡议。十年来，中拉首脑政要频繁会晤，经贸合作不断深化，民间往来日益紧密。甲辰龙年到来之际，风云对话走进乌拉圭大使馆。在这里，我见到了乌拉圭驻华大使、拉丁美洲和加勒比外交使团团长费尔南多·卢格里斯、洪都拉斯驻华大使萨尔瓦多·蒙卡达，以及特立尼达和多巴哥驻华大使刘娜。Now, we know the cooperation between. The community of Latin American and Caribbean states in China have been developing rapidly over the past few years. Would you please share with us some of the major achievements of that cooperation? Well, thank you very much for the question. I think the the first pillar of this uh, comprehensive strategic partnership between China and Latin America and the Caribbean is the development of the political trust, right. and I think. Uh, this is uh, a very important aspect of our uh, relation. Uh, China has been playing a very important role and a stabilizing role in our, in our region. And uh, more and more countries in Latin America and the Caribbean have established diplomatic relations with, uh, with China in the near future. And that has consolidated also more and more embassies present here in, in Beijing. And uh, the level of exchanges at the political level between heads of state, heads, heads of government of our region coming to China and the visits of Chinese leaders to our region mm -hmm. have been remarkable. Uh, I would like mm -hmm. to say that last year was like a record year of right. visits from uh, Latin America and the Caribbean countries to, to the Chinese capital. The exchanges were absolutely fruitful. Mm -hmm. And we are expecting that the year 2024, the year of the dragon, is going to be also a very important year mm -hmm. for more communication between Latin American and Caribbean countries and China and the preparation of hopefully a big summit between uh, CELAC and China in the near future because we have been meeting at the level of ministers of foreign affairs but mm -hmm. we got a mandate that the next uh, occasion probably will be a heads of state uh, summit. So this right. is uh, something that we need to prepare actively mm -hmm. during the course of the Year of the Dragon. And I think uh, this is going to be a very important year. So this is political trust, right. but then we can move to trade. And I think uh, the importance of uh, China as the second uh, trading partner of the whole region, mm. and in the case of South America, the first trading partner of most of our countries, is absolutely fundamental and also uh, China plays a very important role in aspects like financing to many of Latin American and Caribbean countries also as a key investor in some of our countries so it, there is a, a real strategic partnership that is being developed between the two sides and we are hoping to see more and more especially in the people-to-people -people exchanges and there mm -hmm. I think uh, one can notice that more and more 
of our cities are getting ready to celebrate the Chinese New Year also, yes. and that expresses that we have mm. uh, not only Chinese communities in our uh, countries, but also a lot of people in Latin America and the Caribbean who really admire the Chinese culture, and, and I think this is a, also a very important element of our bilateral dialogue. Let's move on to talk about the China CELAC Forum, which Ambassador Lugris, you mentioned. Now, this forum has been established for several years now, and it has produced tremendous achievements and results. Would you name a few and share with us um, any of the future prospects that you think of under this forum going forward, Master Moncada? Yes, please? there are some, uh, some areas which, uh, mm. to me, look as if they are probably the most important ones in this uh, interfacing between China and Latin America. Mm. And those have to do with the big problems that we face uh, uh, at the moment as a planetary uh, society. Right. And those have to do with uh, trying to maintain world peace, which I think is very, very important, especially at this stage in which the world is so convulsed mm. with wars and so on. Mm. Secondly, the very big challenge of uh, fighting against the climate uh, change and the climate disaster, which is called mm. by, by some. Mm. For our region, for example, it's very important uh, the help and the interaction that we are going to get uh, uh, with China in relation to eliminating poverty, for example, mm. and uh, fighting against uh, inequality. Mm. One of the most successful stories in the history of China in the last 50 years is the way in which China has uh, managed to make uh, extreme poverty, poverty disappear and uh, create a society which is most, more just and equal. Uh, one of the big problems in Latin America is uh, inequality. Mm. And inequality shows in all the areas including education, health, food insecurity and so on. Mm. My hope is that uh, through the development that we can achieve working together with China, we are going to work uh, positively uh, to solve uh, some of these problems. And of course, as two cultures, mm. as two big cultures, because together we are very big, uh, the fight for uh, world peace is something which is absolutely urgent in this uh, day and age. Sure, thank you Ambassador Moncada. And that actually leads perfectly into my next question. How do you think, Ambassador Lowe, the cooperation between China and CELAC countries could help to address some of these common challenges and issues faced by the Latin American and Caribbean states? Yes, you are absolutely right. Um, the Latin American and Caribbean region, we do face a series of complex challenges. Some of these challenges are not unique to the region, um, but you know we have to work together to continue to find solutions to deal with some of our most pressing challenges within the region. It does not augur well for any one country to work in isolation to find any one solution to deal with some of our challenges. Because of how interconnected and how interlinked so many of our problems are, um, it is important that we continue working with our international partners like China to find solutions to some of our problems. I think that the China CELAC uh, Joint Action uh, Forum 2022-2024 is very important because it allows us to encourage consensus building, it allows us to encourage dialogue across borders and sectors, mm -hmm. and it even helps us to address some of the challenges that we all face, if not all of them.位于南美洲东南部的乌拉圭是世界上距离中国最遥远的国家之一。这里是探戈故乡、足球天堂、南美瑞士钻石之国。2016年，中乌共同宣布建立战略伙伴关系。2018年，乌拉圭成为首个同
，乌拉圭对华出口总额仍创下新高。二零二三年是中乌建交三十五周年，乌拉圭总统拉卡列访华。两国元首宣布将中乌关系提升为全面战略伙伴关系。站在这一新起点上，两国合作领域将愈加丰富，人文交流愈加多彩。How do you think the two countries will go forward, hand in hand, to celebrate that upgraded relationship? I think the presidential visit was a very historical landmark in our、uh, long history of exchanges, and it has.、Mm -hmm. Proven that、uh, in the case of Uruguay, we have a state policy、uh, regarding China. That every single government of Uruguay has been here with the same clear message that we want to do more with China.、Mm -hmm. That we share a lot of、uh, values and principles with the Chinese government, and especially the, the passion for free trade.、Uh, President Lacalle Po and President Xi Jinping had a,、mm -hmm. a remarkable conversation on the importance of continue to push. For more free trade internationally at the WTO level,、mm -hmm. uh, in the conversations between CELAC and、uh, China, and also in our sub-region, the Mercosur country. So、sure. this is a very important、uh, common value that we that we share. We、um, hope to be、uh, promoters of more free trade in our respective region with China, being、mm -hmm. China our number one. Trading partner, so we are very happy with the outcome of the, of the visit, and we think that with more than 26 agreements that were signed,、mm -hmm. we have a lot of work to do.、Right. So now we have to implement all the agreements that were、uh, signed in this occasion, and we have a very meaningful、mm -hmm. uh, action plan for the Belt and Road、uh, Initiative. We have a fantastic new five years plan for agricultural cooperation. So many instruments. That we need to to put into place, from cooperation at the Antarctic,、mm -hmm. uh, scientific research to more scholarships for more Uruguayan university students to come to this country. So a lot of things, and now we really need to work actively to to put in place. And football. And football、Sports? cooperation <laughs> is going to be there, of course, because、right. this is a passion of President Xi Jinping. This is a passion of millions of Chinese. Uh, people and of course this is a very important part of、uh, Uruguayan culture.、Mm. So we are hoping to to receive、uh, more Uruguayan stars coming to China this year. Like we received last year the、mm -hmm. the Uruguayan、mm -hmm. world champion、uh, sub 20 team, and we are hoping to have more、um, sports cooperation in general because a lot of、uh, sportsmen and women from Uruguay have been. To China to be trained in many different areas, and of course,、sure. football is a is an excellent、uh, example of how complementary both countries are.、Mm -hmm. But we have many more areas of、uh, sports cooperation to to be developed in the near future. In the Indian Ocean and the Arabian Peninsula, in the middle of the Asia Minor, there is a warm country in the middle, Honduras. 2023年3月，洪都拉斯与中国建立外交关系，成为第182个与中国建交的国家。之后，两国关系驶入快车道。建交三个月后，伴随着卡斯特罗总统首次访华，洪都拉斯不仅加入“一带一路”倡议，还加入进博会朋友圈，成为主宾国之一。截止到目前，中洪两国已经完成了自由贸易协定的三轮谈判。九月，萨尔瓦多·蒙卡达在中秋国庆双节期间抵华旅行，成为洪都拉斯首任驻华大使。现年七十九岁的蒙卡达是著名的科学家和药理学家，曾长期从事癌症和心血管疾病的药物研发。Honduras and China established diplomatic relations in March last year. Would you please share with us? The details of that story. Well, given the region in which we are,、uh, people have to understand that、uh, opening、uh, diplomatic relations with、uh, China for Honduras was a momentous decision, and that was、uh, due to the vision and to the、uh, courage of our president,、uh, Doña Xiomara Castro.、Mm. So that is a very important point. 
Uh, we look at it uh, with great uh, positive view and uh, as you probably know we are uh, discussing now a uh, free trade agreement between the two countries. Yes. We have had three rounds of the, of the discussions and the fourth round will be in March here in uh, Beijing mm -hmm. and uh, as far as I can uh, tell you things mm. seem to be going e extremely, extremely well. Yeah. I think that uh, for us it represents uh, the possibility mm. of uh, living in a multi multilateral world uh, which opens up the possibilities of uh, looking at different things and having the possibility of choice mm. and that uh, is a very significant uh, thing even before the freight tree agreement is, uh, is signed and, and sealed and, uh, and delivered uh, we are already uh, having a very significant uh, uh, movement in terms of, uh, of trade in those uh, products that I've mentioned sure. uh, to you before. Mm -hmm. And we are exploring, obviously, uh, other areas uh, that, uh, uh, in which we can uh, have uh, trade between China and, uh, and Honduras. To me, again, uh, I think that the possibility of finding areas in which mm -hmm. uh, we can learn from China in areas of science and technology, which is going to really uh, upheld the development of Honduras into a higher stage of development beyond just an agricultural mm -hmm. uh, uh, producing country is one of the most uh, significant things. One of the things, for example, which I have to mention, which is very important, mm -hmm. is that uh, China donated a very significant amount of money to uh, Honduras when uh, our president was here uh, and we are using that money to refurbish and develop uh, schools in the countryside mm. which are uh, in a state of uh, disrepair. Right. And that is a pet project of our president which is uh, already uh, developing. Mm. Uh, the other important thing is that uh, Honduras will be now uh, this year the president of uh, CELAC Right. and that uh, we are looking forward very much to the possibility of having a China CELAC uh, meeting in mm -hmm. Honduras that is going to bring us together and is going to help the interfaces between the region mm. and, and China. Uh, we are very much looking forward to it. Tudu位于加勒比海小安迪列斯群岛的东南端 由特林尼达岛和多巴哥岛两个主要岛屿组成。特多和中国的人员往来已经有两百多年历史，它也是最早和中国建交的加勒比国家之一。自一九七四年建交以来，两国一直保持着密切的友谊。在节目中，刘
we celebrate so many of the festivals of the different people who have called Trinidad and Tobago home. We celebrate the Hindu festival of Diwali just as passionately as we celebrate Christmas and Eid al-Fitr from the Islamic calendar as well. Mm -hmm. So we do value and appreciate everyone's cultural identity and their contribution towards the making up of a modern day Trinidad and Tobago. In terms of our very dynamic economy, Trinidad and Tobago is classified as a mature hydrocarbon province with over 150 years of experience in the oil and gas industry. And we also rank among the world's largest exporters of ammonia, methanol, and liquefied natural gas. And because of that, because of our success in the oil and gas industry, we have been able to uh, create the requisite infrastructure needed to really make Trinidad and Tobago one of the largest industrial bases of the English-speaking Caribbean. And Ambassador Lo, if I remember correctly, your grandparents are from Guangdong province, aren't they? That's right. My right. paternal grandparents are from Zhongshan in right. Guangdong province. How is Spring Festival celebrated back at home? We have a very vibrant Chinese community in Trinidad and Tobago, so celebrating the Spring Festival was always very important to the Chinese community, mm. who are so very uh, fiercely proud of upholding their Spring Festival traditions and customs as well in Trinidad and Tobago. Just last year, the Chinese community had their first temple fair in honor of Spring Festival, and a lot of the uh, members of the public, they were able to go and participate and enjoy some of the, the local food and the delicacies, and they were able to do a lot of the calligraphy and, and participate in that activity as well. So it's getting very, very popular. Mm -hmm. I remember when we were growing up, if you would tell any of the elders in your family, Xin Yang Kuai Le, they would always give you some money, or as we call it, Lai Si, in the little red envelope yes. as well. So we do have very fond memories of celebrating Spring Festival growing up and many of the Chinese hometown organizations from Guangdong and Fujian province where many of the Chinese migrants and their descendants, they would also have a Spring Festival lunch as well. So they would get together and celebrate and have lunch with everyone and it's really a time to celebrate family, unity and togetherness. Paper cutting has a very long tradition in Chinese Spring Festival. 三位大使以及洪都拉斯大使夫人艾斯梅拉达，我们一起体验了中国春节民间传统文化。there is apparently different schools of paper cutting too. There is the northern school oh, really? and the southern school. Yep. The northern school people concentrate on characters. And different types of paper as well, right? Yes, and uh, apparently the southern school, where we're talking about Guangdong mm. and uh, Fujian, people will be concentrating on the details of characters. Chuang I would like to say Xin Yang Kuai Lo. Wish this world a lot of peace. I think uh, this family celebration that the Spring Festival is is one that has to unite us all as one family uh, worldwide and I think it is a, it's a very important moment to, to recognize us all as part of the same family, sure. a family that needs more peace and stability and of course progress and, and prosperity. All the best uh, wishes to the Chinese people of course and to the people of the world in this uh, beginning of the spring uh, festival. World peace is probably the most important value that 
that we have to strive for, especially in a year which is uh, so important, like the Year of the Dragon, full of energy and full of good wishes and possibilities. I would like to wish the Chinese community a happy and healthy and bright and beautiful 2024 as we celebrate the Year of the Dragon.